Hey Virgos, welcome to your weekly love reading, December 17th to the 23rd. Uh, my voice is almost 100% back. I'm like 98, 95% good. Um, so that being said, just bear with me. I've got my hot tea, I've got my water, I've got my liquids. <laughs> if I have to pause the video, I'll pause it so you guys don't have to like, you know, sit with me through really like awful, you know, calm, coughing fit. Um, anyway, I do have a couple announcements. Uh, or house, mo mostly just housekeeping stuff. Um, and I am going to do my regular intro, okay? So reading will probably start at about three minutes in. For everyone who knows what's up, you can just go ahead and fast forward. Now, uh, my announcements. I'm still getting emails about personal readings. Guys, I don't do personal readings. I'm sorry. Uh, but once I start doing them, I promise I'll let you guys know. I'll announce it on YouTube or the Facebook page. Probably both, just to be safe. Um, so just keep that in mind, okay? Sorry, I just don't do, do them right now. Got a lot going on. Um, I'm trying anything else. Oh, just a shout out to my patrons and all my the people who've donated. I really appreciate it, guys. The support is amazing and it's been a little overwhelming, but um, I don't know what that was. That was crazy. Um, I was like, I thought it was fireworks for a second. I was like, no, I felt the walls reverberate. So some, I don't know, maybe something hit the wall. Anyway, not my concern. I'm not worried about it. So just thank you guys again. I really, really appreciate it. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess that's it as far as like housekeeping. I don't know why I feel like there's more to say, but I guess I guess not. Um, uh, so for the regular intro, as I will start now at about 1.38, if anyone wants to timestamp that. Probably 1.40 now because I had to stop. <laughs> um, this is a general love reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So please keep that in mind that all not all messages will resonate with everybody. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. I get messages for those who need to hear them, okay? So sometimes that's you, sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's major collective, sometimes it's just one person or a few people. It just kind of is how it goes, guys, okay? Now keep in mind we are working with energy, so just know that messages can pertain to you or they could be vice versa. They could pertain to your partner or someone in your environment that you in interact with very regularly, okay? <sighs> Sorry, I'm like, God, do I have to cough already? No, no, I'm good. Uh, also keep in mind that uh, the gender of the cards does not matter. Everyone has masculine energy, everyone has feminine energy. It's all just energy, guys. If something is gender specific, I promise to let you guys know, like 1% of the time, it's gender specific. Mm. So don't even worry about it. Don't jump. All right. So let's just get started, Virgos. Uh, um, I will say in the pre-shuffle, I know it's not good news, but it could always just pertain to one group of Virgos and we can get a reading for an entire different group of Virgos. So don't get too worried. But shit. <coughs> In the pre-shuffle, I saw four of wands with ten of swords. I know. I'm sorry. And then the seven of swords came out. So it does not look good, Virgos. Um, but let's see what's going on. Let's not get, you know, too Debbie Downer yet. Uh, any messages from Virgos in love? December 17th to the 23rd. Any messages from Virgos in love? December 17th to the 23rd. Any messages from my Virgos in love? December 17th to the 23rd. Ooh. Any messages from my Virgos in love? December 17th to the 23rd. We have one card out so far. The Knight of Wands in reverse. Any messages from my Virgos in love? December 17th to the 23rd. Off the bat. Any messages from my Virgos in love, December 17th to the 23rd? Ooh. Any messages from my Virgos in love, December 17th to the 23rd? Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, you guys just got a crap ton of cards, all right? <laughs> they literally, like, wanted to fly at my face. So let me just pull these out, line them up, all that good stuff. So these came out together. Ugh. That came out. That came out. Oh, yeah, no, it does not look good, guys. Oh, no, 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 Virgos. Okay. So I'll show you all the 
cards that came out um, and the overall energy and then we'll go through one by one. So overall energy is nine of pentacles in reverse. So to me, this is someone lacking confidence, someone who's a little codependent. I'm getting a strong, actually, now I'm getting it really strong, strong codependent issues. Um, it is earth energy, guys, and I do feel like there's something getting you down this week regarding the person or persons you've been dealing with. I really feel like it's just one person. Yeah, I feel like it's one one core person that most of my Virgos have been dealing with has really been kind of like, you know, chopping away at your confidence your confidence and your your feeling of, of independence and making you feel more codependent or having codependent tendencies. Don't get mad at me. It's just the message. <laughs> it is what it is. Could always be vice versa. All right, and I'll show you the cards one by one. And then I think I'm going to pause because I need to fill up my teacup, okay? I just realized how low it was. So we have night of, not cup, but my cup of tea. <laughs> not a true teacup. Nine of Wands in reverse, Sagittarius energy can also be Aries or Leo. So double fire cards. There's a lot of fire coming off that, that card, okay? Justice in reverse, Libra energy with five of cups in reverse. We, we have Libra again, so you could be doing the Libra. Queen of Swords, Libra energy could also be Gemini, Aquarius, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio with the eight of pentacles. The hangman, Piscean energy. The star in reverse, Aquarian energy. Queen of Pentacles in reverse with the five of swords in reverse. Queen of Pentacles in reverse is Capricorn energy. Could also be Virgo, Taurus, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And then we have the lovers in reverse, Gemini energy again with the eight of cups in reverse. I know, doesn't bode well. But we'll go through it, guys. But let me get some tea first. I'll be right back. All right, I uh, almost said Taurus. Virgo, don't know why I said Taurus. Maybe you're dealing with a Taurus. Uh, so let's get back to this. The first card out, Nine of Wands in reverse. I just feel reckless, like reckless, reckless behavior and decisions being made. Uh, whoever, like whoever this energy is, is coming from, it's like they're reckless. They're very reckless. Um... A handful of you are dealing with someone who would be considered, like, I'm not dangerous. I don't like using that word. Not dangerous. I guess, like, like a bad boy. Like a bad boy or a bad girl. Um, someone who doesn't exactly follow the law. Someone who doesn't exactly follow the rules. Or they have an issue with authority. Is just what I'm getting off this card. Just someone who's really reckless. Really reckless about stuff. So we have uh, Justice in Reverse with the Five of Cups in Reverse. This is someone who's feeling really sad okay feeling really down about things that were lost um they might have some other things in their life but whatever was lost it's a big loss it, they're really feeling like a big hole a big void and with justice in reverse it's saying that this hasn't been balanced out yet so let's look at the five of cups in reverse okay <clears throat> clarify five of cups in reverse Clarify Five of Cups in Reverse for my Virgos in Love, December 17th to the 23rd. Clarify Five of Cups in Reverse for my Virgos in Love, December 17th to the 23rd. I don't know why, but like, my guides are telling me to reiterate the signs. I think someone might be asking or wondering as they're watching this. So we have Sag, Libra, Libra again. We got two Libra cards, Pisces, Aquarius, and Capricorn and Gemini. All right. Clarify Five of Cups in Reverse. 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 <clears throat> Clarify Five of Cups in Reverse for my Virgos in Love, December 17th to the 20 oh, to the 23rd. Clarify Five of Cups in Reverse. Okay. Oh, good, good, good. Good. Okay. I like seeing that. So what do we have here? So overall energy, we have Eight of Cups for this Five of Cups in Reverse energy. So, yes, feeling this sad and feeling the void is... It's the wrong that's been done to you. Um, but you are moving past it. You're moving towards your happy, moving towards your wish. Whatever it is you want. And you're leaving behind... All these negative emotions, all these cups that are spilled over, 
you're trying you're leaving this energy behind you're trying to you're trying to because remember overall you're still in this um uh lack of confidence kind of energy and to clarify the sadness and the feeling of the void we have nine of swords four of cups two of wands and then the eight of wands in reverse okay so being really up in your head and having a lot of anxiety over it and again this is like not again i don't know i've been doing that a lot lately four of cups is all about uh, contemplation it's a very stagnant energy so it's like you're, you're just kind of stuck in, in feeling this depressive sad void and you can't stop thinking about it you can't this is these are two thinking cards you can't stop thinking about it okay and it's put you at a crossroads it's put you in a position of where do i go from here what do i do now and with this eight of wands in reverse it's saying that there's a delay okay you are very stuck you are stagnant this is stagnant energy stagnant energy stagnant energy stagnant energy there's a there's a delay into you moving forward and moving past this but you want to because it is clarified with the eight of cups okay you want to move on you want to move past this injustice now these cards there's some interesting energy off this virgo i do feel like someone's watching I feel like someone's watching you. I feel like someone's watching you and kind of like waiting for you to start working on something in particular. I don't know why I'm feeling that way. Um, it's almost like they're watching to see what you do. They're watching to see your next move. Your next move. like, And it's, it's almost like methodical. Um, whoever's watching you, it's a very methodical tactic. It's like, I'm just going to watch and wait for the perfect move on their part for me to make my perfect move to get what I want is the energy that I'm sensing. Um, it's also telling me that um, there's going to be no more like having of bullshit. Like, I think there's been a lot of games played between you and this person. And it's to the point now where it's like this Queen of Swords energy has come in where it's like no more BS. No more. No more. No more. No more. I want to clarify the Queen of Swords, though. It doesn't feel like an awesome energy, so I'm curious about it. <clears throat> Clarify Queen of Swords. Clarify Queen of Swords for my Virgos in love. December 17th to the 23rd. Clarify Queen of Swords. Clarify Queen of Swords. God, my voice is already going in and out. Clarify Queen of Swords. Yeah. Clarify Queen of Swords. Clarify Queen of Swords for my Virgos in love. Clarify Queen of Swords for my Virgos in love. Clarify Queen of Swords. Oh, that's a lot of cards. Hold on a second. Okay, I'm just going to take the top one, the top card. It was a lot. <laughs> I was like, okay, guides, come on. <laughs> it was like, nope, just the top one. <laughs> Clarify Queen of Swords. All right. Overall energy, we have Eight of Swords in reverse. So there is a releasing, a releasing of negative energy um, around this, like, no more bullshit, no more, like, having bullshit energy, which is really, really good. Okay, that's going to help you gain back your self-confidence. Now, wait a minute. Oh, I don't know why I thought that was two cards. So we have... Two of Pentacles with the Tower in Reverse with the Seven of Pentacles in Reverse. Okay, so Seven of Pentacles in Reverse is like, is feeling like you wasted your time. Feeling like you wasted your time on an investment. Feeling like, you know, um, you could have spent your time a lot better. <laughs> you could have been more productive. And then there's juggling kind of going on all around this Tower moment that's already happened. Um, I'm feeling, Virgos, like you, you look at your time with this person as a waste of time. It's a waste of time. It's kind of like, ugh, I put in all this time and effort and look what I got. Look what I got. I got heartbroken. I got heartbroken. I got stuck in my head. I'm full of anxiety. I don't know how to move on from here. And they're the ones off being reckless. Okay, they couldn't have even been a player, player like energy. Juggling to me is also indicative of juggling more than just one person, right? And this is like, this is feeling this way after a major tower has happened, which could have just been the breakup, but I do feel like it was a finding out of something, a discovery of truth. Um, yeah, discovery of truth. I don't know why I'm getting that, but a discovery of truth. 
yeah, but you're not having it anymore. Like, moving into this energy, you're like, you're, you're, this is you getting your confidence back. No more bullshit. No more bullshit. I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. Now we have these two cards. We have the Hangman, Piscean energy with the star in reverse, Aquarian energy. This is... <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Oh, that was hot. Oh, that was really hot. Okay, sorry. So again, you guys are a little stuck. You know, you want to move on. You ha you do have the Eight of uh, Cups energy. But remember, you still have all this really stagnant energy that you're dealing with. The Nine of Swords and the Four of Cups and the Two of Wands and then the reverse of the Eight of Wands. It's like, you're still very stuck. But that's okay. It's because you need to heal. That's why the stars are in reverse. There's a need for major healing happening here. And I like that these two are paired together, because once you get out of this hangman energy, you're going to have a massive, massive awakening, a major revelation um, that's not only going to give you healing, but is also going to push you forward with confidence to your wish come true, to whatever you're, where your happy lies, okay? What is this? Oh, let me put this on. I'm so annoyed. I'm so annoyed. I lost you guys anyway, as I was trying to put on Do Not Disturb. I don't know how the fuck that happened. Sorry, excuse my language. I really don't, but whatever. I had to stitch the videos. Sorry. <sighs> so annoyed. I can't believe that happened. Okay, moving on. So we have Queen of Pentacles in reverse with the Five of Swords in reverse. Uh, Virgos, I feel like this is you, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. This is your energy here. Um... This, and I, I kind of am happy that this is that this is in reverse because this tells me that it's like you're you're trying really hard to not feel defeated anymore. Um, and yeah, you're in a negative headspace. That's why this is in reverse. You're in a negative headspace. You're finding it really hard to focus, finding it hard to think. I don't know why I'm getting that. Like finding it really, really hard to think and think your way through things. And it's almost like you're trying to go into hermit mode, but you kind of can't. It's like you're being halted a little bit. But let's look at this Five of Swords in reverse and see if we can get more information off of this, okay? Because what I don't like that I'm worried about is this next pair, the last pair. Because that tells me that's an inability to move on from the broken connection. Makes me a little concerned. Clarify Five of Swords in reverse for my Virgos in love. Clarify Five of Swords in reverse. For my Virgos in love, clarify Five of Swords in reverse. For my Virgos in love, December 17th to the 23rd. I cannot believe I gotta stitch these fucking videos. I'm so annoyed. Clarify Five of Swords in reverse. They have two cards out so far. Clarify Five of Swords in reverse. Yeah, you guys are having a lot of trouble focusing right now. Clarify Five of Swords in reverse. Clarify Five of Swords in reverse. Clarify Five of Swords in reverse. Wow. Overall energy, we have the Fool in reverse. Yeah, so this feeling of defeat, what's going to help you let it go, for those of you who are still feeling this, is recognizing how foolish the person is that you were dealing with okay is and how reckless because they are reckless like i said i was getting that reckless behavior this is also indicative of reckless behavior whatever they did that was reckless that hurt you and made you feel defeated it's a, it's foolish whatever it is it's foolish and so knowing that tapping into that accepting that is going to really help you guys push through that feeling now let's see what we have here got one got two. Oh. Virgos, okay. I'm a little worried now. So, this first line that came out, we have the Nine of Cups in reverse with the Three of Cups. This combination, I'm worried because this, to me, this combination says a lot of partying, a lot of drinking. Like, Nine of Cups in reverse, that's like, that's self-indulgence. Three of Cups is celebration and, and you know, literally partying <laughs> with your friends and social circle. Okay, after after feeling defeated um, or from feeling defeated and just be careful of this energy. Just please, please, please be careful. Okay, um, this is also someone who's like, I'm, so there's that aspect. There's like parting too much to kind of try to get over it. But there's also the aspect of, how do I describe this? Of feeling like you're never going to be happy again. Of like being hopeless about 
celebrating something again or being happy enough to celebrate something again and losing hope in that so please that's also a very depressive energy so please be aware of that now this last line this is what's making me worry we've got this four of pentacles with the virgo court card could also be capricorn taurus knight of pentacles right um or aries leo sag with the lovers okay gemini energy with the lovers this is like this is not letting go of wanting to to move towards to to have this love to have this union like this is someone who's really struggling letting go of this idea or this concept um and tw and lovers energy is twin flames for me as a reader i usually like to see a true pair on the board to like really you know to really cement that but i'm not seeing that but i'm just letting you know as a reader we have it twice and for me it is twin flame energy However, there's inability to move on from this connection, but it's broken. This is how you feel about it. Okay, in the feelings of feeling defeat, you can't let go of this union that you feel is really, that can be really strong. However, the reality is that it's fragmented and you can't move on from it. And Virgos, that makes me worry because I can, t I can tell there's a lot of pain here and someone is very reckless behavior, Okay. And that just makes me worry about your safety and what's kind of up ahead for you, okay? So just be careful with, just be careful. Try to see things for how they are. I know that's like, how do I do that, <laughs> right? Um, I'm just worried that maybe you're seeing things through rose-colored rose glasses. Don't be mad at me, Virgos. This could always be vice versa as well. Um, but Virgo, I really feel like this is you. It's like you really can't let go of this connection. <sighs> I'm like, should I even clarify this? Like, not moving on from the connection. Um, I will clarify lovers in reverse. Let's see if we can get some more information off of that. Clarify the lovers in reverse for my Virgos in love, December 17th to the 23rd. Clarify lovers in reverse. Clarify lovers in reverse. Because even if you are in a twin flame situation, if someone's making you feel this way, don't stay. Because with twins, it's like you two can only come into union together if both of you are doing the work to change. And this person clearly needs work to do, the one who's caused you all this pain. So you shouldn't be in union with them anyway if they're not ready. You understand what I'm saying? I know that's hard to hear. Maybe I'm sounding a little harsh, but um, it's just the truth, okay? Clarify lovers in reverse. I'm always going to be honest with you guys. I'm never going to lie. Never going to sugarcoat things. Clarify lovers in reverse. Clarify lovers in reverse. Or you could be dealing with straight up Gemini. Totally could be. Clarify lovers in reverse. Clarify lovers in reverse didn't even want to clarify okay we'll try that one more time clarify lovers in reverse for my virgos in love clarify lovers in reverse for my virgos in love clarify lovers in reverse wow it is like nope i have nothing to say about that <laughs> all right moving on i will look at the eight of cups in reverse though clarify eight of cups in reverse Clarify Eight of Cups in Reverse. Clarify Eight of Cups in Reverse. Okay. Clarify Eight of Cups in Reverse. Clarify Eight of Cups in Reverse. Clarify Eight of Cups in Reverse for my Virgos in Love, December 17th to the 23rd. All right. Overall energy, we have Queen of Pentacles in Reverse. Didn't we have this somewhere else? Oh, yeah. Here. So double confirmation. So Queen of Pentacles in Reverse is around this feeling of can't move on. Virgo, like I said, I already told you this is your energy. This is you. And again, you, you can't think right now. That's why this is in reverse. You can't think. You're not focused. And you're not able to move on because you, you want the truth. This is what you want. You can't move. You can't move away from this connection because you're still waiting on some truth to be told. 
I'll be honest, Virgos, I'm not sure you're going to get it. I don't think you're going to get it. Um, I know that's that's not what you want to hear, but it's it's because you're waiting on the truth. You feel like you don't have the whole story. You feel like they held something back from you, and they probably did. I mean, I, I barely even see very much of their energy except for the watching, that they're definitely watching you and watching your moves, trying to d debate about how to move in response to your moves. Like, <laughs> You know what I mean? It's like, it's really kind of crazy. We'll roll for romance angels and see what that has to say, okay? Any messages from my Virgos in love? December 17th to the 23rd. But honestly, it really just seems like Virgos, you kind of have to, you got to let this go. I'm sorry. I know you don't want to hear that, but it's going to be so much better for you in the long run if you can let this go, even if you get the truth or not. I know you want the truth, but you're trying so hard to move on and you can't because you're stuck. You're stuck, you're stuck, you're stuck because you really need to heal. All right. So that's what you need to be focusing on right now is how to heal from this situation. But we'll still see what the messages have to say. I'm just, that's my advice. That's my advice. Any messages from my Virgos in love? December 17th to the 23rd. Any messages from my Virgos in love? December 17th to the 23rd. Any messages from my Virgos in love? December 17th to the 23rd. That's too many. <laughs> Any messages from my Virgos in love? December 17th to the 23rd. We have one card out. We have the trust card. Any messages from my Virgos in love? December 17th to the 23rd. Any messages from my Virgos in love? December 17th to the 23rd. Oh, okay. All right. So we have trust. Like I said, the situation is calling for you to have faith. I know it's hard, guys. I know it's hard, but just trust that this is the best thing for you. I know it hurts. I know it's painful. I know it sucks, but you're going to find your strength again, especially through this, like, when you get into the space of, like, no more bullshit. No more bullshit. That's going to help you gain your confidence back to help you move on and also letting go of wanting the truth, okay? Because, I, like I said, I really don't feel like you're going to get it. Um, but just trust that this is the right thing for you and that you can get out of this. You can move forward. Overall energy, we have stay optimistic about your love life. <laughs> positive thinking and faith will bring you romance yeah definitely staying positive um and definitely just looking forward don't look back do not look back keep looking forward do not get stuck in the past i know it's hard because you are in this if i can pull it yeah you are in this nine of swords energy okay so i know it's hard but you gotta keep pushing forward you gotta keep pushing forward okay virgos um i do wish you guys all the best like i said trust that this is the right thing for you. This person caused you a lot of pain, even though they're still watching you. They're causing you, they caused you a lot of pain, okay? And I know you can't move on because you really want the truth, but not all that, not all closure is, is necessary. Trust me, sometimes chasing that closure just leads you to a hell of a lot more pain than you need to go through, okay? Keep pushing forward, Virgos. I'm rooting for you. All right, so that was it, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to check out Patreon and the Facebook page. I'll see you guys later. Bye.